Hello and welcome along, I hope you're all doing well. We're back for another video in Microsoft Flight Simulator and today is going to be a bit of a bonus part 3 for my Innibuilds A320 series and I'll also put up some links for parts 1 and 2 in the description below. Now I wasn't actually planning on creating this particular tutorial but I've had quite a few comments on previous videos asking how you get SimBrief working correctly and there are a couple of different steps you need to go through uh, so we'll go into those in a bit more detail and see if we can help you get that SimBrief integration working for you. So, let's hop inside and get started. Right, so as I mentioned, there are a couple of hoops we need to jump through uh, to get SimBrief working correctly. So, we'll come down to the FMS and hit the init button. And a problem a lot of people have been having is they're not getting the init request message here. And as you can see, it's not showing a mine because we're not signed in. So, how do we resolve that? So what we're going to do is come down to the MCDU menu button and click that uh, and then we're going to click on the button next to where it says ATSU and we just have to wait for the system and there we go that's the screen we're looking for now and in the top right where it says pilot ID you can see that that is blank and this is where we're going to add in our SimBrief ID which is found on your account settings so we'll just put a random number in for now so 123456 and then we just go to return and then it's sort of a case of working our way back through the menu. So uh, we'll hit uh, the FMGC button, top left. Again, just wait for the system. And now we'll come back down to our init page. And there we go. As we can see, we now have our init request option. So that's kind of stage one. And for the second phase, we need to come over to the EFB and just repeat that process of adding our SimBrief pilot ID. So if we click on the options button on the bottom left, that will open our menu. And at the top there, you can see we can add our SimBrief pilot ID. And again, you can find that on your SimBrief account section. I'm just going to populate that with another random number. And there we go. And that is pretty much it. So once we're logged in with our pilot ID on both the FMS and the EFB, uh, we can hop over to SimBrief and create our flight plan. So let's just get my SimBrief page open for you guys. There we go. And let's create a quick flight plan then. So, so we're in our lovely Vueling livery, so that's VLG. And then we can just whack a flight number in. And we're on stand in Madrid, so LEMD. And we'll take a flight over to Barcelona, LEBL. And we can select our aircraft, which is the where are we, A320neo, there we go. And that'll just take a couple of seconds. There we go. And we can now uh, select our airframe, which is the Innibuilds A320 version 2. And that is pretty much it. So hit the Generate Flight button. Just a couple more seconds. And there we go, that is our flight plan all sorted. So, uh, back into the EFB on the plane, and what we're going to do is click this button in the top right corner that says SimBrief, and that should import all those details we've just set up. There we go, we've got the green banner across the top, so that's worked. And it's brought in our flight number, our alternate, and obviously our departure from here in Madrid to our arrival in Barcelona, and all our METAR information as well. So far, so good. So if we click on the OFP button, we can take a look at the flight plan in a bit more detail. It's got all the correct information that we've added. Uh, it's got our cost index there, our fueling all looks good. And if we scroll down, we can see our routing as well. So that's all looking good there. So that's all the flight plan taken care of. Let's see how we import our payload from SimBrief as well. So if we come down to the payload button on the left hand side and click that, and if we come back up to the top right again, there's a very small SimBrief button. So if we click that again, and again we get the green banner to let us know that's worked. So that's brought in all our passengers, weights and fuel from SimBrief. And then we can just press apply load. And that will just open up a window that gives us an option to either do it instantly, fast or it's sort of real time. So we'll do it instantly for now. And that will send all our payload down to the FMS. And that's pretty much it for stage three. So now we need to head back down to the FMS and get everything working down there. So, so we're still on our init page. So we can now click the init request button that we set up earlier. So we'll click on that. And there you go. Hey presto, it's brought in all the correct details for our flight from Madrid to Barcelona. We've got our alternate route to Pisa. Uh, we still need to manually input our flight number. So we'll go uh, VLG1. 07, 
and drop that in. The cost index can be found on our OFP. So if we go back up to the EFB quickly and click on our flight plan page again, and go back up to the top, and we can see here in the top right section here, we've got something that says CI23, and that's our cost index. So we drop 23 in the cost index, there we go, and it also gives us our cruise altitude and temperature. And in addition to that, it also brings in all our wind information for our climb. Uh, so if we click the wind button on the bottom right, there we go, uh, we can see all the information that the plane needs to help calculate our climb efficiently. Uh, if for whatever reason that's not there, you can, you can just click the wind request button. And that brings everything we need in from Simbrief as well. So that pretty much is everything for our init A. Uh, so if we come back and click on the right arrow and we can start setting up our init B page. So if we just click the zero fuel weight button at the top right and then the block fuel as well, that will automatically sense everything um, because we sent our payload down from the EFB earlier. It's got our takeoff weight, our landing weight and all that good stuff. So that is it for our init B page. And I guess one final thing we just need to check is our flight plan. So click the flight plan button and there we go, we can see it's brought in all the waypoints we need from here in Madrid and we can scroll through all those taking us all the way down to Barcelona that's all looking good um, obviously we still need to add in our departure information and our arrival but uh, we'd click on the departures from here in Madrid and do the same for our star when we arrive into Barcelona Okay, I'm going to leave it about there for today guys. So that concludes my video on how we fully integrate Simbrief into the Inibuilds A320 Neo V2. I know a lot of you have been having a few problems with that, so hopefully I've been able to help you out there. If you did find it useful, give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.